Hey guys, it's uh, Chris Hussain back from CNA Smalls again for another informative uh, service or repair video. Video right now got deals with a uh, uh, leaf blower. It's a backpack of leaf blower made by, uh, let me get the number out here. It's a uh, Troy Build, I believe. Uh, let me see, here we go. Troy Build Jumpstart. It's a uh, TB2B. P E C. That's T's and Tom, B's and Boy. Number two, B's and Boy, P's and Paul, E's and Edward, C's and Charlie. It's a Troy built jump start, and uh, basically this machine is only. Let me see date of manufacture. Uh, it's only about a year old, and a year old machine. It's the newer jump start where you can put a, I think a, a, a drill bit or something on the back of the recoil unit. The recoil unit blows out. You can use a drill bit instead on it, I believe, because uh, they had them on TV. I was looking at them on it, but I, I never seen one in person yet. But these are relatively new design. And this guy's machine here, uh, he brought it over. He was claiming the machine would not start for him, and it kept on like dying or bogging out. That's what he was claiming. And uh, we checked it out over here, and I found out that uh, the thing had low compression for one thing, and the spark plug had a funny. Uh, like a grayish color to it as well and it has spark but uh, this original spark plug in there was barely, barely putting anything out so I swapped it out for another spark plug and it uh, seemed to have a lot better spark after that because the original one uh, did not put out any spark whatsoever because I have my uh, my uh, spark tester over here and it wasn't putting any spark out when I just had it right on the top of the thing but I put a new spark plug in there and uh, sure enough it fired right up with the spark plug in it for that just, just just on the spark side not actually running so uh, that was bad right there the spark plug was bad out of the factory box and the other thing was he had low compression on there this thing should have well over 100 psi in these uh, engines on here let me move it around here so you can probably see it here a bit here's right here and they have uh, the non-adjustable style. Well, I should say it's adjustable, but it only has one. Uh, it only has one uh, screw on there for it. Uh, I believe it's a mixture screw on there, but it doesn't have a high or low screw. It's the uh, barrel style carber on this one right here. And uh, the exhaust port on here. Uh, the exhaust port. I looked down inside here and get my light. There we go. There we go. And the exhaust port has uh, scoring up and down the one side and it looks like this machine was uh, ingesting either uh, extremely lean gasoline over time or it was or some type of mechanical failure possibly either, either it wasn't worn in properly but on the whole left hand side if you're looking at it from the back side it has uh, scoring on the whole half of the, uh, the cylinder on here and that's usually caused by the thing running real hot with uh, hardly any gasoline in it or they can have uh, dirt small particulate ingestion and stuff like that that can cause it real quick on here that's another problem you'd be concerned about right there because uh, usually on the top end of the engine if it's if it's on the top end of the piston uh, thing on here like the top you have your top uh, piston crown then right underneath it you have your uh, piston compression rings if all the damage is usually on the top end like this one looks like it is on here it's usually ingesting something which is either the fuel mixture ratio is off or uh, the air filter might not be doing its job or there's an outside chance it could have been just plain mechanical failure the thing wasn't put together to factory but uh, that doesn't happen too often right there and the gas mixture ratio usually on these machines is about 40 to 50 to 1 on or some of these newer ones I believe this one is uh, let me see here was that fuel mix ratio it doesn't even say it on there it just said gas and oil so I really don't know what this one specifically is but uh, in general I recommend having between 40 and 50 on these newer machines because the EPA is clamping down on two strokes and they want them to run extremely lean out there and most of the time these newer machines have between 40 and 50 uh, uh, we want to call it uh, mixture ratio four on there let me let me show what the gas look like here after I drain it out get over here 
Here is what the gas looked like. I put it in one of my one of my old Schmucker's uh, jars here. It does have a hue to it, so you can actually see. Uh, it looks like he does have mixed gas in here. However, uh, that may or may not be a problem because uh, some of these machines, for whatever reason, they might be funny about uh, running with a really lean gas mixture ratio. Me personally, I recommend Opti uh, to mix all the time on my equipment because it's it's a well known. Uh, a well-known product. I really don't know what he actually put in this specific machine right here, so I'm not even going to surmise what it is. But uh, it does look like mixed gasoline because uh, straight gasoline is usually clear, and uh, this stuff is, has like a bluish green tint. I'm I'm partially color blind, so I really can't see what color it is. So it looks like it's a bluish green to me. So uh, that's basically what it uh, looks like. The gas looks relatively clean and clear. You hold up the light. I don't see any particulates floating in it. Uh, there's, the, there's virtually no water in it. So uh, it's either the fuel was uh, ran extremely lean in the actual mixture for this thing right here, or it could have been a mechanical issue as well right there too. So that's two possibilities as, as, as the uh, failure analysis right there. I can probably show you what this thing looks like here on the exhaust side. So. Let me put this thing back up here again and show you what it looks like. Let me bend this thing over here so you can actually see what this thing's going to look like. So bear with me here for a couple seconds while this thing's situated. These things are a bitch to move around, especially with this, this uh, handle on here, this handle assembly. There we go. Okay, here we go. Here we go. You can see down inside there now. You can see the, the uh, piston. Let me see. Let me move this thing around here for you guys. There we go. You can see down inside there, it's moving up and down. And you can see, come back up, you can see that scoring right there in the top left half of it right there. And that's the reason why this machine is not uh, performing adequately at all, to say the least. This has scoring on, I'd say, the whole half side of the piston on the back side, I should say, that's facing the recoil unit back here. And because of that, it is not working at all, so that's the particular reason why this machine is not one wanting to run. And the customer said, the machine's only about a year old, year and a half, something like that. It was made back in June or July of uh, 2012. And here's a close-up of the mason jar, too, as well. Here, let me get this thing out here in front of you to see it. Looks like it's a bluish green, some kind of like aquamarine color. I don't know exactly, but I'm um, color blind, so it looks like it's a bluish green to me. And that's probably the issue why he's had problems with this machine. But it also adds a new jump start feature as well under two. It's the uh, jump start. You basically put a uh, tool in here if you don't have the recoil unit working properly for the pull handle right there as well. And this particular model is the Troy build. Let me see right here. TB2BPEC. So if you have or you're working on someone, someone similar to this one right here, keep that for a reference. Uh, please verify which uh, ratio they should have, the, uh, the fuel mixture ratios on these ones right here, and only use clean, fresh, non-contaminated gasoline because uh, you'll run into problems with uh, gasoline that is either uh, bad, like this one right here, possibly, or gasoline has not been mixed properly because of whatever reason either the owner or person who ever used this last time did not maintain the proper mix and caused irreparable damage on this machine right here he's basically going to need a new engine on here he's going to need a new uh, or say cylinder cylinder assembly because the only way to really do it right to save your ass is to basically replace the whole engine because if he got wear on a top end like this he's going to have wear on a bottom end and I'm not going to take the chance of uh, only doing a top end, the, the top cylinder part, and uh, if something happens in the future, I don't want him calling me back. So it's better to replace the whole engine, the upper and the lower half. You don't want to do a half-ass job and have the job come back. So you got to cover your ass and do the whole job right the first time, the first time only. And here's what the spark plug looked like because it looked like it was running pretty uh, lean as well. You can see right here, it's all... Uh, funny looking gray to it as well on there too. It should not look like it, it should be having like a nice tan uh, Color to it and it does not look right either as well So that's basically the uh, review of a 
engine is not running and will not start as well too. If anybody has any questions, feel free to call me here, email me. If uh, you want to as well, leave a message on my page here and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. I'll see you guys.